Questo tizio è veramente pompato. Attenzione, guardate. Bella statuina. Esiste forse di peggio. Cioè, guardate. Io credo dovrebbe essere su quel tavolo, ma in realtà lui è sceso così. Vabbè. Just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. Then talk to them. Not like they're out to bite you. If they do, I'll bite back. So what's the problem? I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Sono tutto Rick. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear Sheila will not join in this endeavor. But the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. C'è sempre qualcuno a capo della loggia. No equality in the lodge? That's garbage. Some have always taken the reins, while others politely nodded. A wise and capable sorceress finds the role, the position that best suits her. And yours should be supreme. You deserve to lead. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't, but I'd rather deal with one sage than the entire lodge. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection. But you shall be your own rudder, captain and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port. So? I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. Ho fatto un piccolo upgrade di processore. È pur sempre un i5. E quindi da come grafica l'ho messa adesso a tutto alto. Posso anche metterlo estremo. 
e mi regge perfettamente, tranquillamente ovviamente, però il problema è che quando registro, siccome è un i5 e non un i7, ovviamente il calo di FPS si sente nel video, ma non in gioco, eh, eh, non nel gioco. E purtroppo questo è un vero peccato, però comunque prima avevo nei episodi precedenti, avevo circa le qualità sul basso medio. Eccolo lì, adesso ce l'ho tutto alto ed è veramente una bomba questo nuovo processore. Però se mi manca è scheda video, ma al momento scheda video regge perfetto. Peccato, peccato che non posso mettere stream. E anche il video così adesso non è perfettamente 60 fps, eh. Però Help protect Siri from the wild hunt and the emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You've barely said hello and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convinced the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Siri. Hmm. Got a hard time believing an Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. How's Rita now? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come, they're all waiting for us. Ti aspettano tutti. Madonna, che pompato che sto marinai. Guarda che bestia. Guarda che roba. No, questo, questo anche questo è pompato. Però c'è un po' di panza. Ma quello è pompato forte. Una piccola informazione che vi do. Nell'ultimo episodio c'era. Abbiamo dato la fine a. A Sheila. Sheila. Praticamente, chi è Sheila? Mi sono accorto dopo. Mi sono accorto che Sheila praticamente. Sì, che non va dentro l'acqua. Praticamente è la maga che nel The Witcher 2 ci ha dato non pochi problemi. Seriamente, eh? sì, sì, anzi, sinceramente, anzi, ci ha dato veramente un sacco di problemi. E potevamo risparmiarla o ucciderla. Ed era proprio lei, non mi sono proprio accorto. Proprio che brutta fine che ha fatto. In ogni caso, lei sarebbe morta. L'avrebbe finito o Yennefer o Geralt, ma in questo caso noi siamo dei veri uomini cazzuti e Geralt finisce il suo lavoro da Witcher. Che sta qua? Tris, buongiorno. Got a minute? Of course. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. Hmm. <laughs> Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. So why'd you return? <sighs> it was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's... Nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalark claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please, whenever I please. Minchia, un teletrasporto, eh? Oh, Madonna, voglio averlo io teletrasporto. So, need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. Ask away. The thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere once it's over. Some place picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. You've been almost everywhere. Also know Yen well. Any ideas? I was thinking Spala or maybe Dolblathana. The first roadside inn you pass, take her there. Pay for a month in advance, carve 
Do not disturb into the room door and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. Hmm. Herodin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. Interesting. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. I mean, interesting. Yes, Geralt. Salam. Geralt. Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me. Trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. Eh, parla dell'avvenimento ancora primo successo a The Witcher 1. What did Aridin want from you exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with them. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Aridin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened, and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did. And if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. <laughs> Still can't get something out of my mind. What? So, feel any different after our encounter with the Jinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. Thanks, Yan. See you later. Ah no, lei messa così con la mano che trapassa il cappuccio. Ah. È veramente interessante questi discorsi però. Non so voi, ma messi. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away.
Well, that settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skellige after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Amir's mages? Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show his Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. Ah, prosa danzara. Scusate. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillion. Yet she spurned him. <laughs> That was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillion a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillion's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. <laughs> Ma ricordatevi, è una leggenda, eh? quindi si sa. The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven once. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Kroch's longships are moored there. I'm off. Good luck. Ma non ho capito. Ho 
cavalieri della battaglia oh, quante robe tra mai chiedo perché veni vidi veni vidi vigo Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs? They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Solomon, where's Ermian? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. I think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Always wondered. What do witchers do once there are no battles, fashions, or giants around? And what else would crack happen? I'll not kneel before an oncrite. Never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the Black Ones? I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding Moorhawk than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? That your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! Hmm. I rip your feet up and kill him! More damage! More! There's some Yarche that are going to be a minion. No, sto per cadere giù. Donna ah! che i gemelli, sono dei gemelli sti qua. Porca vacca. Madonna. No, veramente, madonna, tutti in fila indiana, no? Quell'attacco che tritta la... qualsiasi cosa. Trittati tutti lungo la strada, madonna, adoro questa mossa, eh. Io quel giorno in cui stavo per prendere mi dicevo, no, dicevo, ma... Ma sì, in difficile, non potremmo mai usarla. Invece, su The Witcher 3 funziona, eh? anche alla grande funziona, eh. No, porca vacca, madonna! Dai, che palle! Oh. Che fine vergognoso per... No, vedete, veramente terribile. Guerra che ha sconfitto 4000 ciclopi giganti, quel che è, bestie, cacciatore famosissimo, muore cadendo da delle fottute scale. Buona fine vergognosa per un witcher, oh. Ma qua è facile cadere, porca vacca. Ok, contiamo che non sono morto, ok? Però fa ridere la faccenda, eh? Fa molto ridere, eh? A me eh, sì. <ride> Un Witcher caduto cadendo dalle scale, morto così. Ma 
fa male sto ermellino, eh? Madonna se fa male. Oddio, fa comparire... Fa comparire il bastone così con la magia. Oh, oh, oh c'è un piccolo guerriero. Scusa, non pare attacchi di armellino con lo scudo. Oh, ho fatto un massacro. Abbiamo fatto qua. Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermian. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Ker Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? Mm, quindi questo è successo perché abbiamo incoronato Ceres. Beh, si incoronavamo suo fratello, Hjalmar. Ovviamente Ugo il pazzo non si sarebbe incazzato, però o forse sì, un altro si sarebbe arrabbiato, ovviamente. How Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugos accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? And the lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Krak's will, all failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Listen, Ermian, know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Urberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe elves interesting, but there's a scald, Avent, he could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Garrett. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Whole gaggle this time. Ah, uh, gods protect us. <laughs> Intera banda. Oh, che idee ci proteggono. Sì, mucchio di donne. Se ma Geralt, mamma mia. Ermelino ne sa qualcosa. Beh, la puntata è giunta a termine e noi ci becchiamo col prossimo episodio.